the cost of rent is skyrocketing throughout the nation. Yeah. And I think you touched on the, uh, a, a very important point. It's across the nation. Yeah. Uh, there's more cities that are having a bigger dramatic increase than yeah. others. Yeah. Um, we're specifically in Miami and Miami is booming. I'm talking about it is booming like no other. Mm -hmm. It is just skyrocketing. And I think a large part, part of that is because, this is uh, already a very attractive city for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Then you have a lot of people who during the pandemic were now able to telework and yeah. work wherever they wanted to. So if you have the opportunity to work from home mm -hmm. and come down to Florida, not have to pay state income tax, but also be in the incredible, you know, Miami vibe. And you or can South, still keep your salary. Or, or Florida vibe mm -hmm. and be able to keep your salary. It's like, okay, do I choose to stay in New York or do I come down to Miami? And a lot right. of people are coming from New York and from California and from all over the country and coming down to Florida because they realize like, wow, if I can, if I can have this opportunity to live in Florida, but be able to work from home, then why not? Why not? So, yeah. And then there's a lot of tech companies coming down mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. all over the place, California, yeah. Texas, um, New York, and all of those companies are like tech companies that have, you know, great, sal great starting salaries. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you, when you compare the cost of living and we had a, a, another video about uh, Miami and about South Florida in general, about like the cost of living and things like that. So go mm -hmm. check that out. Here in South Florida specifically, pay doesn't necessarily equate to the cost of living. Right. You know, you find people that have to have, you know, two jobs or roommates just to be able to afford the rent because their full time job simply just won't cover it. Yeah. And then you add on rent increasing up to 40 percent in some states. It's just like. How does a person survive? Like exactly. all, almost all of their paycheck is being contributed or just solely just given toward like rent. So I think that's a really good segue into one of the articles that I just recently saw. Um, and it comes from the Washington Post.com. And the headline, it says rents are up more than 30 percent in some cities, forcing millions to find another place to live. Going up. So. When you see things like that, and I will, we will put the, the we'll share these articles. Um, we'll put the links in the description below. Right, we're mm -hmm. gonna put the links in the description so you can read the whole article. But this is the headline, and I think this is really crazy and really interesting because, yeah. you know, I was having a conversation with somebody on the elevator here mm -hmm. at our condo, and he was saying, "Man, I I can't afford it." Like he really was scared, and he really, I mean, I w I just met this guy on that one day. I've never met him before, but mm -hmm. he had to vent because he was about to go through it. He 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 knew he just that needed his, an outlet yeah, in he, that moment. He knew that mm -hmm. his lease was coming to an end, and that the his the property owner was mm -hmm. saying, "Okay, we're about to raise this." I don't even remember what the numbers were, but mm -hmm. it was over a thousand dollars. Yeah, from one year to the next. Yeah, sticking your the same key into the same door, sleeping on the same bed, and having the same square footage. Yeah. but now you're paying a thousand dollars more mm -hmm. for that same exact place. So when you think about that, it's like, man, like people are getting squeezed out. And this person, he was like, I, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Like, yeah. there's nowhere to go because I, everywhere is so whether it's, expensive. Whether it's downtown Miami, Brickle. Or if you go outside of the city, obviously cities are a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. So even if you go outside of the city here in South Florida, all the surrounding cities, even if you go 20, 30, 40 minutes out and everything is going up and then you go even further up north and you go even outside of South Florida, it's still going up. Yeah.